This is what happens when you put your bare hands on a $500 plasma ball. Now, here's the breakdown exposing how it was made. To start, I had my friend Zach place his hands on a plasma ball. We then cut and went into the garden to shave his head. We then went back into the house and got into the same position. I loaded up our famous air cannon with hair from a wig and had it aimed at the back of his head. I lined up the camera so it matched up with the previous shot exactly and had Zach back into the same position with his hands above the ball. As soon as Zach touched the ball, we shot him in the back of the head with the air cannon and the hair went flying. And now we're ready to edit. I opened up Video Leap and imported all of our footage. I made a cut in our first clip at the point Zach first touched the ball. Then on our second clip, I found the frame he touched it again and then deleted everything between these two points giving us this. I wanted to make the plasma ball more exciting, so I imported some stock footage of lightning and dragged it on top of the ball. To make it stay in place, I selected on the new point tracking feature, selected on the section of clip I wanted to track, and then let Video Leap do its thing. Then I took a bunch of stock images of body x-rays and overlaid them onto Zach's body for one frame, giving us the effect of being able to see straight through him. And then finally, we have this.